Now, here's a story we promised you. They may be fairly unlikely candidates for astronauts, but a group of water fleas is being sent to the International Space Station. Scientists from Birmingham are currently working with the uh, tiny crustaceans to make sure that they survive the space mission. Here's our uh, science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar. In a Birmingham pond, the task of finding water fleas with the right stuff for space is underway. Water fleas in space is an experiment designed by a team of schoolchildren from Wales. The thrill of seeing a launch from Cape Canaveral where their experiments and their ideas are launched into space. I mean, how cool is that for a young person? And then they're going to see astronauts working with, with their experiment. What we will find out is whether this species with its complex genetics will adapt in space how it reproduces can it be a future food source it's an ingenious experiment the brummy water flea like almost all of them is female she carries lots of other females all twins inside her body and reproduces asexually but when fleas become stressed they also produce males and mate in a traditional way producing this large black egg so, if the space fleas do that, it means they're finding life in space pretty stressful, which could be a clue as to how humans might cope with longer space voyages too. I think it's very tricky to send out into space because they are sensitive animals to some extent. I have good hopes that Daphne will get there, and if they do, just the interest of Daphne surviving in space opens new doors and is a continuation of science that has started, and this is the first time it's actually happened from a UK university, so I think this is quite exciting and I'm very excited about this. Now the honest truth is this is a one-way trip for these water fleas, but rather than a short life in a Birmingham pond, they're going to have a short but exciting life on the space station. David Gregory Kumar, BBC News, Birmingham.